Number 5. 1940 Lincoln Center in Main State 68. This fire orange 1940 Lincoln Center is one of just 8 certified as MS-68 read by PCGS. This superb gem has nearly unimaginable eye appeal. Both sides are brilliant with fiery orange luster and pristine, virtually flawless surfaces devoid of carbon flecks and other challenges to the grade. It was sold for $3360. Number 4. This is 1942 D quarter in MS67 condition. Surface sticks and impaired luster are the usual culprits that keep the vast majority of the mint state coins from reaching such exalted grade levels. Mint's emphasis was on quantity, not quality, and the coins show it. This is a simply stunning and flawless coin and toned save for a faint wash of gold, pristine, I boldly struck throughout. It was sold for fifteen thousand two hundred and seventy-five dollars. Number three. Here is nineteen fifty-two Jefferson nickel in PR sixty-eight deep cameo condition. For many years, the finest Jefferson nickels of this issue were a handful. Were a handful of PR sixty-seven deep cameo examples at PCGS. PR-68 specimens are very scarce and command strong premiums. This example offers quick silver surfaces with no more than hint of golden color and deep flawless mirrored reflectivity. It ended up selling for $14,950. Number 2. A Wartime Penny 1943 D. Lincoln Sand with Repunched Mint Mark in 20th century American numismatics, dramatic die errors are most often the result of unusual pressure on the meat. Whether the stress of implementing a new design or, or lack of personnel, many famous wartime varieties, including this dramatic repunched meat mark, stem from the latter cause. The present superb gem example displays a dramatic errant meat mark prominently to the southwest of the main one. And aside from a touch of the usual softness at Lincoln's hair, the strike is solid. It was sold for $14,950. Number 1. Here is 1942 D. Nickel, also with repunched mint mark. Apparently the best mint employees joined the armed forces during the World War II, since a sizable number of blunders occurred in 1942. The mint mark punch was initially entered rotated 90 degrees clockwise then entered the second time with correct alignment. The lower curve of the initial horizontal D is visible, west of the primary Denver mint mark. It has medium olive gold toning and a good strike. Abrasions are limited to a single diagonal line on the dome of Monticello. It was sold for $30,550. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell buttons below, and stay tuned for more fascinating content. See you in the next episode.